we're going to look at how to use lookup table adjustments, or LUTs as we might know them. Specifically, how to load single LUTs into a document, how to batch import them so you can easily audition multiple LUTs to find a particular look, and how to create and export your own LUT from an adjustment layer stack for use in other documents. At a basic level, we can import a single LUT and apply it to a document using the LUT adjustment layer. Here we can click Load LUT, then navigate to a single LUT that we want to apply, and click Open. We can alter the strength of the LUT by adjusting opacity here, and this is fine, but you can usually download and install entire packs of LUTs and try several of them until you find a good look. So let's do that by going to the adjustment panel and we'll just scroll down here until we find the LUT entry. Then when we single click that, it will expand the entry. And here we have a list of presets that ship with the app. We can batch import more by clicking on the cog icon, then choosing import. So here I have a number of cube LUT files I can make a selection of, then click open and they will be imported into the adjustment panel. So they now appear in this list and I can easily apply one just by clicking on it. If I click on other entries, it will swap the existing preset. So this means we can easily audition different looks until we find one that we like. You can also manage these LUTs by right clicking on them where you can rename, delete, or export them. Whilst exporting, you could choose a different LUT format, or perhaps optimize the file size by specifying a lower resolution, labeled here as quality. So now I'll show you how to quickly create your own LUT, which you can reuse with other documents to speed up your workflow or share with others. I'll move across to the Layers panel here so we can see our layer stack. So to export a LUT, we have this option on the File menu, Export LUT, and this will take into account the rendering of adjustment layers in your document, plus the blend modes and opacities they might be using. Let's start then with a white balance adjustment. I'll take the balance more or less all the way to the left bring the tint up slightly, then set the blend mode to multiply to darken the image. And I can bring the opacity down to perhaps around 25%. So immediately that darkens the image and gives it a slightly cooler look. Next, let's add a curves adjustment. I'll use my shortcut for this. So Command M on Mac, Control M on Windows. I'll add a slight matte look by raising the absolute black point. Then just add in a bit of contrast. I'll add another curves adjustment, again using my shortcut. This time I'll target the green color channel. And again, I'll raise the absolute black point, then I'll add a couple of extra nodes here, just to add a little bit of a green tint to the highlights and the midtones. Then on the same curves adjustment, let's move across to the blue channel. And again, I'll raise this slightly and then perhaps just bring this up as well. And finally, let's add a selective color adjustment. Just zoom into the building detail here. And all I really want to do with this adjustment is move across to the yellows reduce the cyan contribution slightly, and reduce the yellow contribution. And this is mainly just to change the color of the building. I'll just show you the before and the after. So a very subtle change, but it just takes some of that yellow color cast out of the detail here. Now let's go to export our LUT. So file, export LUT, and you can see the effect the LUT is having on this preview image here. You can, of course, load your own preview image should you want to. But we're going to give this a title of Low Light Preset 
we'll choose a cube format and bring the quality all the way up to the maximum. Then click export. And we'll just save this on the desktop for now. Click save. And now we have a second document from the same photography session. So we can just use our LUT adjustment layer, choose load LUT here. Then there is our low light preset. So we will apply that. And now we have a look that is consistent between the two different images. So again, don't forget that we can also go to the adjustment panel and import that LUT file that we've just created into our preset list. And of course we can apply it from there as well. So there we are, a quick look at how to import, export and create LUT adjustments. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.